So this route's pretty quiet? Yes, and it's a real nice night for an evening. Um, <laughs> as you say, Captain. <laughs> yes, as I say. Maker, she's bad at this. If it isn't done right, the blade can be too soft. Quenching the steel is a vital step that can make or break a sword. Right. A blade for every purpose. What do you think about blades? I'm sorry, Captain. I drifted off a bit. Right, of course. Ah, <sighs> painful. Well, Guardsman, good patrol. I think we're done, and I... Hawk, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Aveline. Hawk, don't. You tried. Sort of. Time to open your eyes and see who really cares for you. Would someone please tell me what's going on? You're a daft couple of... Oh, take a hint and bend her over a basin, will you? Captain? Ah. Uh. I should get back to the barracks. I thought we were friends. I'd hoped we were more than that. Then why do this? I have to fix it. He'll file a complaint, ask for a transfer. You, you're coming to the barracks to explain why you put him on the spot. Double time, Hawk, or so help me. Maker, where is Donic? I have to head this off before it goes to the Viscount. Maybe a formal apology. Something that shows the guards they can still trust me. You made a mess of it. But it's not the end of the world. How would you know? He wasn't blind to you. No. But you were. What are you talking about? Are you? <clears throat> My apologies, Sir Ahawk. But I need a moment with the captain. Guardsman Donick. Please. Guardsman Donick did not file a complaint. This was all incredibly stupid, and you made it wonderful. You took it further than I intended. I can't seem to hold you back. See? If I could say things like that, I wouldn't have needed you. I'm charming myself into obsolescence. You? There's no way I can ever repay you. I just... Thank you. Hey, can I ask you something? You know me better than anyone. There was never anything there, but... Did you ever wonder about you and I? I suppose it would be similar to how... Wardens think of blights. You're off to a bad start. It becomes their reason for living. But Maker... The carnage. Then the world is lucky I couldn't ask for a better friend. Shout when you need me, Hawk. I'll always be here for you. Just knock first. I can't hear it anymore. I just need to hear the song again. Just for a minute. Stop saying that! I know I shouldn't have sold the idol of that woman. It was a mistake! A mistake? Partridge. Get a hold of yourself. Do you know where you are? Do you know what you've done? Berg! You'll help me, won't you, little brother? Help me find it again. You were always a good one. Help you, Bartrand. You left me to die. You left all your men to die. And for what? Some trinket? Look at yourself. Look at what you've done to the men and women who served you. Where's your nobility, brother? Where's your dwarven honor? 
Who did you sell the idol to, Bartrand? She glittered like the sun, but her heart was ice. You don't want your brother's blood on your hands. No. I've been counting the days until I could put a bolt in his conniving little brain. It's not just us. Look what he did out there. How many more people will die for his folly? He has to be stopped. There are other ways than murder. Fine. We'll have to lock him away somewhere. I'll send somebody to get him. Come on, Hawk. The sooner we get out of this house, the better. No, please. I haven't done anything wrong. That's a lie. What do we do to mages who lie? I just wanted to see my mom. No one ever told her where they were taking me. No. No, this is their place. We cannot... So, you admit your attempted escape. You know what happens to mage girls who don't tow the line around here, don't you? Please, no! Don't make me tranquil! I'll do anything! That's right. Once you're tranquil, you'll do anything I ask. Get your hands off her! You fiends will never touch a mage again! Kill them all. I promise. Every one of them will feel justice's burn. Get away from me, demon! I am no demon. Are you one of them that you would call me such? Anders, that girl is a mage. We rescued her from being made tranquil. She is theirs. I can feel their hold on her. She's the reason you're fighting, Anders. Don't turn on her now. Please. Monsieur. Baker, no. I almost... If you weren't here, I... I need to get out of here. This is all Sir Ulrich had. Looks like the Tranquil Solution began and ended with him. Let me see that. The Divine rejected the idea. Meredith rejected the idea. This was not what I expected. Perhaps I should try talking to the Grand Cleric. Maybe she's more reasonable than I thought. Thank you. I will think on what you said. You know, I've been meaning to thank you. You don't need to stick your neck out for the mages here. But you have. One day, we'll make a world where your sister can be free again. Don't thank me. It wasn't about you. I know. That's what makes it matter. You follow your convictions. When you still believed in me after I almost killed that poor girl, I knew you meant it. You wouldn't say it just to make me feel better. You make me think I can really do this. Lead a revolution. I didn't realize you were planning anything that big. No small change would address the injustice that mages face. The Chantry itself must be overturned. There will always be mages born in Thedas. But Templars are made by men. And they can be unmade. If you want to be an example to mages, you need to master yourself. After what happened, I will never forget that. Every day. I feel the need for vengeance growing inside me, but I know you won't let me lose myself to him. I've got something to show you. Come and see. It's beautiful, isn't it? Why are you showing me this exactly? It's not just a mirror. I mean, it is a mirror, but it's magic, or it will be. I've spent the last few years restoring this. One of my clan found it in the Brazilian forest, we think. Poor Tamlin. We never found him. Just the shattered pieces of the Alluvion. So, you and your friend Tamlin both entered this cave, and you saw this mirror. I see. 
That's unfortunate. The Grey Wardens have seen artifacts like this mirror before. It is Tevinter in origin, used for communication. Over time, some of them simply break. They become filled with the same taint as the Darkspawn. Tamlin's touch must have released it. It's what made you sick. And Tamlin too, I presume. So long. What are you trying to do with this mirror? At first, I just wanted to find Tamlin. But... It's been too long. Tamlin is probably dead by now. If he wasn't already. But still, I know it can help my people. I can at least recover this one small part of our heritage. The Eluvian is a trap. It cost us Tamlin. It led you to blood magic. Will you let it twist you further from who you really are? And who am I? We've done as you asked. Honor our bargain. Give me the Arulin home. Hawk, because Meryl won't listen, I give this heirloom of my clan to you for safekeeping. Please, don't let her do this. Thank the creators. I thought maybe she'd go back on her word. I... The shard I picked up was corrupted. I couldn't cleanse it without help. The Keeper refused. She said that it belonged to another time and should be left there. So I found a... spirit. It gave me the power to purify the mirror through blood magic. I've never heard of blood magic purifying anything. Neither have I. There's nothing inherently evil about blood magic. It's magic, like any other. The power that contaminated the mirror was too strong to be driven out by normal means. If I had piles of lyrium lying about, I could have used that, but I didn't. I used what I had. Working on that mirror is crazy. You need to stop this. You're siding with the Keeper. This is dangerous, yes. But it is restoring something vital to my people. I know what I'm doing, Hawk. Give me the Arulin home. I'm keeping it. I can't let you do this. You're keeping a priceless heirloom of my clan. You have no right. You're not even Dalish. I can't believe you. Why did I trust you? You're just a Shemlin like all the others. I... I have nothing further to say. Avert your eyes, witch. You said I was dwelling on useless history. But what are you doing? The past is important to you and to all of us. We must know it to move forward. Yet I have made no deal with a demon to learn of my past. You had a life, you had a family, and you abandoned them to chase after ghosts. We are nothing alike. Don't even begin to think that we are. Your Sir Ulrich was working on a plan to turn all mages tranquil. I will not ask how you came by the personal effects of a man recently murdered within our own walls. It's true there has been some discussion of the idea, but as you can see, it has gone no further than that. The harrowing has served us well enough for centuries. It will be up to mages themselves whether they push us to more stringent measures. How could you do that to me? How could you steal a priceless relic of my people? I trusted you. I don't know what the Arulin home can do, but I know you can't be responsible for it. I'm not a child asking for a puppy. I've trained my entire life to be a keeper. Everything I do, everything I've ever done, was for the good of my people. Don't talk to me about responsibility. I can't believe I've been such an idiot believing you'd help me. Go! I'd rather be alone. Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Camlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Deandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. I was wondering when you'd show up. 
Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. You bastard. I'm going to kill you. I was afraid you might say that. You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. Spare me the demented rambling. Where is she? She's here. She's waiting for you. I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. I've searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us. I knew you would come. I should have watched over you more closely. I should have... My little girl has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... <laughs> Why her? Why Leandra? What sort of nightmarish magic is that? Oh, Maker. Maybe the Templars are right. Lock the mages up. Throw away the key. You're happy they took Bethany away? No, I didn't mean it like that. <sighs> I wish magic hadn't touched her. She would have been better off. Magic's always run in this family. It's a curse. Now even your mother's fallen victim to it. I hope you killed him. Good. I hope it hurt. I will deal with breaking the news to Bethany. You've enough on your mind. Take care, my dear. I... I feel I should say something. I know you're not good at emotional stuff. At least your mother loved you. Not everyone can say that. I'm going to hold on to my memories of what she was, not the thing Quentin made of her. And just think, you stopped him. Quentin's never going to hurt anyone again. I think no matter what, she'd be proud of you. And then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? For you, I have all the time in the world. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. I hear you and the Ravani have something going. So, what's going on, Hawk? You wouldn't bring this up just to gossip. What's on your mind? Shows what you know. I would definitely bring this up just to gossip. I didn't, but I would. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. Isabella is a great girl, but I think you're likely to get hurt. By which I mean stabbed and left for dead. In all the time you've known me, 
Have I ever given you the impression that I was turned off by crazy? <laughs> okay, point taken. Sarah Hawk. I'm here about the Viscount's son. Are you? In four years, I have made no threat, and fanatics have lined up to hate us simply because we exist. But despite lies and fear, Baz still beg me to let them come to the Kuhn. They hunger for purpose. The son has made a choice. You will not deny him that. No doubt you see the advantage of having the Viscount's son at arm's reach. He is no longer the Viscount's son. Vidithari give up their lives for the certainty only Kunari know. You would not take advantage of his connections? The Kuhn may demand that advantage, but I do not. It was his choice to be educated. He is not my prisoner. He is not even here. He went to his father. Ask the Viscount why he would send you and the letter both. That seems strange. They are meeting at the Chantry. A last pointless appeal, I assume. I doubt he'd involve the Chantry in such a personal matter. No, but we know who would. Mother Patrice. A suspect in many things. If she has threatened someone under my command again, there is only one response. I've had about enough of Patrice. Several times over. A threat against Vidithari can have only one answer. I will suffer only one outcome. I will be watching, Hawk. The demand of the Kuhn is clear. I think you should see these papers. Sir Ulrich. Where did you get these? He was murdered in the gallows not a few days ago. What about his plan? Sir Ulrich made a suggestion, yes. But we turned him down. The right of tranquility has always been a last resort. It has saved lives, but it is not without its costs. If you'll excuse me. Sarah Hawk, look at what you have done. To pounce upon the Viscount's son, a repentant convert in the Chantry itself. A crime with no excuse. Your Kunari masters will finally answer. You've been a headache. But to outright kill someone? That's new for you. He deliberately denied the Maker. How many would follow if he went unpunished? And yet, even this sympathizer will inspire vengeance when his brutal murder is exposed. You won't get the Kunari ousted. You'll get a slaughter. On both sides. To die untested would be the real crime. People need the opportunity to defend faith, starting with you. Earn your reward in this life and next. These heretics must die! <laughs> Do you see, Your Grace? Traitors attacking the very core of the Chantry. They defile with every step. There is death in every corner, young mother. It is as you predicted. All too well. The young mother arranged all of it. Don't you spout your Kunari filth! This is a hand of the Divine! I have ears, Mother Patrice. The Maker would have me use them. Viscount Dumas' son is dead. Killed here in your name. I'm sure my name won't like that. Patrice? Seamus Dumas was a Canari convert. He came here to repent and was murdered. It's a ruse, Your Grace. Seamus was killed to set people against the Canari. This is no longer a matter of heathens squatting in the docks. People are leaving us to join them. And we must pray for them like any other. They deny the Maker. And you diminish him, even as you claim his side. Andraste did not volunteer for the flame. Sarah Hawk, you act on behalf of the Viscount? The young mother has erred in her judgment. A court will decide her fate. The Chantry respects the law, and so must she. Grand Cleric? 
Grand Cleric? We protect those of the Kuhn. We do not abandon our own. Please, send for Viscount Dumas. My son. Murdered in the heart of the Chantry by those who held a sacred trust. What hope for this city when we fail our own so completely? This is not over, Excellency. The city needs a leader. It does. And I am no longer that person. This is important. Don't interrupt with your selfish prattle. Get off your high horse. I have problems, too. Ha! <laughs> what drink should I order, and who's the father? Oh, you little... Everyone shut up! Hawk. The Arashok is sheltering two fugitives who have converted to the Cune. He must be convinced to release them. He's already feared because of Patrice. If people start to think he can ignore the law... I need your help so this doesn't get out of hand. I'm going to die. There. Got your attention. Real problem. Remember the relic? The one Castillon is going to kill me over? A man called Wall-Eyed Sam has it. If you help me get it, Castillon won't kill me. Please. I'm trying to keep the entire city from rioting against the Canari. Well... Maybe it's connected. What? I'm just saying, maybe it will help. It's important to someone, right? Now you start being responsible? Shit. You're sure this is the relic you're after? I've had my ear to the ground for a while. There was a description of the book. It's the right one. Book? I thought you didn't know what the relic was. Well, I... I... I know it's a book, but that's all I know. It's written in a foreign tongue. Honestly, what does it matter? It'll save me from Castillon, so I need it. The relic issue has to be resolved before we take on the Kunari. You trust her this much? Probably not. I wouldn't. They won't wait at the compound forever, Hawk. I really do hope this helps, because if it doesn't... You think I like having this thing on my mind? Come on. The exchange is happening tonight in a low-town foundry. What is this? Why do the Kunari want this relic? Uh, yes. About that. The relic belongs to the Kunari, and there's a small chance they want it back. Do the Kunari look like the sharing type to you? Of course they want it back. I've always known what the relic is. I just didn't want to worry you. You're the picture of kindness, Raveni. The relic is a Kunari text handwritten by that philosopher of theirs. Uh, Keslin, Kuzlin, whatever his name is. Koslin? That's the one. The founder of their religion, the most revered being in their history. That text would be sacred beyond measure. I stole it from them. They followed me here to reclaim it, and it's why they're still in Kirkwall. They can't leave the free marches without it. You could have done something about the Kunari, but you didn't. Done what? The blighted thing didn't show up for three years. Look, the book's right in this building, and I'm not letting it slip away again. It's the only thing that'll get Castillon off my back. Please, tell me you'll give the relic to me. It's yours. Your life depends on it. Really? I... I wasn't expecting that. It's nice to have someone on my side for once. Come on. We've no time to waste. Where is the relic? I... Uh, 
I have it! The Tome of Coastland will not fall into Deventer hands! Blood and spite! A toss, Kanari! He's getting away! Isabella! Once a thief, always a thief. Come on. Aveline will be waiting at the Canari compound. We still have to deal with that mess. Shenadon. Greetings, Arashok. We come regarding the elven fugitives that took refuge here. Irrelevant. I would speak to Hark about the relics stolen from my grasp. Surely you know these elves are only here to escape justice. Kirkwall justice. You have not hidden the abuses of your zealots or the corruption of this city. You will understand why I must do this. Let us look at your dangerous criminals. Speak, Vidathari. Who did you murder and why? A city guard forced himself on our sister. We reported him, or tried to. But they did nothing about it, no matter what we said. So my brothers and I paid him a visit. That doesn't excuse murder. Are these elves telling the truth? There have been rumors. I will investigate. But they still took the law into their own hands. Sometimes that is necessary. Like you avenged the Viscount's son. It was not right then, and it's not right now. I would have done the same thing in their shoes. Hawk, that's not helping. Their actions are mere symptoms. Your society is the disease. They have chosen. The Vidathari will submit to the Kune and find a path your way has denied them. You can't just decide that. You must hand them over. Give us the elves, or we'll take them by force. Hawk! Impressive, but I am committed. I cannot leave without the relic, and I cannot stay and remain blind to this dysfunction. There is only one solution. Arashok, there is no need for... Venek Kathas, 